Michaela is back and we are all done her refill and here is the inspired look. Instead of green, we are going to use Hot Mess, number 272 from the DC collection. We're also going to do a couple of nude nails using the Mamita number three uh, that I get from Amazon. So let's get this party started, right? We're going to go in with two coats of the Hot Mess Orange and I'm going to show you what two coats look like because... This is such an easy design. I had plenty of time to show you guys how I apply the second coat, which I know isn't a big deal or isn't a surprise to anybody. But hey, some people find it satisfying to see a transparent first coat and then a solid second coat, which just brings the whole look together. So let's go. We cured the first layer. Let's do the second layer. And just look at this color. This is a nice bright orange. If you guys are looking for a bright orange color, I highly recommend Hot Mess from DND &D because that is what we all are. We're going to do a second coat of Mamita as well. Now, if I was doing more coverage on these nude nails, I would probably only go with one coat of the Mamita nude number three. But we're going to go ahead and do two since we're doing two of the orange anyway. And they all have to cure at the same time. So let's just get over it. And and move on with our bad selves. Hey, that's what she said from the Queen Diana 27 line, guys. If you missed out on those colors, sorry. You got to get them when they're available, but that's what I'm going to do here. And then I'm going to use those separate little glitters to singly add in them. Since it's not a big space, it's easy to pick up one little glitter at a time to add in there. So I like this, that's what she said, because it's a different kind of silver. It's silver, but it's got a different silvery silver to it. Do you get my drift? Because if you don't, that's just complete tough shit on your part, isn't it? But anyway, there's a rhyme and a reason behind some things that I choose to do. So while that's still wet, I'm going to pick up those little holographic glitters and place them one by one. I only need it like five of them, right? And then I'll cure it and move to the other hand so they don't move around. Then I'll come back and I will do this. I will swoop the glitter up and then I will go in one by one and pick up these little glitters. We'll do a big one first and I'm picking them up with the same brush because I really don't mind if a little bit of the silver glitter gets on top of the holographic pieces because it just doesn't matter. It's not going to change the look of the look. Okay. So after that's cured, I'm going to go back with the hot mess orange and I'm going to do the little line here and I'm going to do the big swoop here and I'm using my Sakura number two striper. Then I will go back and I will do the circular uh, wavy line thing, whatever you want to call it there. And we'll do a longer one here coming right up to the cuticle line. And then after a top coat, guys, here's a 